Hello everybody, Zach here, here to help with humanity's shift in consciousness. Today, topic of this video, my liver flush review, testimonial of the amazing liver and gallbladder flush. The other day I completed my fourth ever liver flush using this protocol and I was very surprised that only very few came out this time. Very happy. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to be sharing my experience over the course of my four flushes and also the results that I'm feeling now after doing this. I really do feel much more vital within myself, much cleaner, both in body, mind, spirit, and even emotionally as well. It's helped on all levels and it's been profound. I do recommend it for general health improvements but also within me I found before I actually did the first ever flush I had some kind of discomfort in my liver it was like this constant throb now and again probably just a general kind of accumulation from like eating the wrong foods throughout my life up until now I mean at this point now I'm 29 years old and after these flushes, I really do feel like I've kind of got a new lease on life in a way in regards to my health. So let's get let's get dug into this. I'm just going to show you a few clips of like the first, second, and even the third liver flush, just so you can see the comparison of how many stones came out in comparison to this. And yeah, let's let's go. Okay, so just to make you aware, the flush itself calls for six lots of one litre cartons of apple juice, preferably organic, and three grapefruits, some olive oil, and some Epsom salts. So for the past um, about six days, including today, I've drank one of these between waking and no later than 6 p.m. It's just, uh, yeah, um, organic apple juice. It's now seven o'clock. Um, I did two more colonics, and uh, <laughs> which was nice. So now I know that my colon is like ready to go. So what I've done is I've just kind of like set out um, the uh, Epsom salt and water part of the solution. So four of these, all four of these cups. So inside is just. Um, water with the Epsom salt. You can't see the Epsom salt, but it's a tablespoon of each. A tablespoon of Epsom salt in each, along with um, 180 milliliters of water in each. So that's good. And now it's seven o'clock, so I'm gonna drink the first one. Let's see how this tastes. Gotta deal with it, bite the bullet, you know. This is for the rest of your life. One day for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> so this was on the first flush where I mixed water, the water with the Epsom salts like it suggests in the protocol, but on every flush after what I did was I decided to put the tablespoon of Epsom salts in my mouth dry and then use the water just to wash it down and I found it much more palatable, much easier to, tick, to get down. So I'd highly recommend doing that instead. Oh my God, it's nine o'clock. Well, we may as well do the next. Oh, okay, All right. Mm. Mm. What's the time? Yeah, it's 10.41. So in 19 minutes time at 11 o'clock, I'm going to be doing the uh, the clinch point. So um, yeah, here we go. It's uh, they are good. They are looking good and juicy. And they smell awesome. The full amount now. And uh, actually 101.95. But a Nutribullet jar with a lid. 
grapefruit and olive oil. <laughs> it is a list up. Jesus. Ah, the moment of truth. Here we go, olive oil and the grapefruit juice. Oh yeah. <laughs> this stuff's gonna be interesting. So after like, not 20 shakes, but more like 50, um, it has turned into what it was said in the book to, and uh, it's now 11 p.m. <sighs> Here it is. Quite nice. I wouldn't go out of my way to drink it, but that's that's all right. It's all right. All right. For me, lights off. Lying in bed. Twenty minutes. Go. Okay. So now I've done the. Uh the 20 minutes and um, yeah I didn't really feel too much going on in my liver okay so it's now 7am I've just woken up I really need to go and sit on the loo um, I can feel like some watery bowel movement wanting to come out already so this is quite a big moment um i've got a bucket <laughs> okay i'm actually having quite a hard time um i'm down to the last bit um in the cup and it's the last bit that i need to chuck back and swallow and i'm just even tasting it is just kind of making me wonder if i'm gonna puke it up okay so i managed to get it down all right now i'm gonna go sit up right somewhere this is kind of cool. I can literally heal, I can feel and hear my liver going <laughs> So to be fair it might not be my liver but um, whatever it is, it's uh, something's happening. So <laughs> Turn off or look away from this part of the video if you don't want to see this and if you're a bit squeamish in that way. Of which if you are I wouldn't blame you. So. This is the stuff that came out, uh, like when I first woke up, about 40 minutes ago. Um, ready, three, two, one. I can make out, as you can see, the kiwi seeds, the little black bits. Um, but I can see what looks like a few little green stones. Uh, <laughs> It's come out and it's much more green, dark green, just like liver bile is supposed to be. That's the old stuff, that's the new stuff. I can see all of the gallstones, there's loads of like green ones. Um, okay, so um, it's now 8.40 a.m. I've got about another another half an hour until I, uh, until I wanna do the fourth cup of Epsom salt. Had another expellation of uh, stuff and I'm now really happy there's a lot more stones that have come out now it's now quarter past 11 I just had another uh, bowel movement um, I'm amazed at how much water has come out of me like quite shocked actually um, decided I'm actually gonna do it I'm gonna instead of just drinking the store-bought apple juice I'm actually gonna juice two or possibly three mangoes and use that to break my fast. This is the best thing. And now these are all the cholesterol based ones that actually float. And there's probably a lot more underneath that um, <laughs> at the bottom that are sunk to the bottom that are much more calcified, but I haven't really got to those ones yet. So. But they're all under there. There's loads of them. Like underneath the surface, there's loads of stones. But there are plenty of them, and you can just see them there, all floating or just beneath the surface. 
loads and loads of them. Feels great to have them out. Okay, so this was the third flush in the bottom of the bucket there. You can see a lot there, and a lot came out this time, and they were probably the biggest ones that had come out so far out of all of the flushes. You had a big white one there, you can see, another big brown one. That was all of them in the pan combined. A uh, big variety of sizes. I'm just going to pan over them now and you can see all of the difference. There's a little bit of fruit segment there. But yeah, all of the different sizes. There's the big white one. I guess that's calcified in some way. But yeah, huge, some of them. Okay, and so the fourth flush, not many came out at all. And they look really black because they, uh, <laughs> I decided, right, I wanted to dry them out this time so you could see them better. So I left them out in the sun, but unfortunately the sun kind of burnt them, and that's why they've gone black like this. They were the same color. All of them were the same color of, like, green mm -hmm. as the last ones. But, yeah, compared to last time, hardly any came out. So I don't know if it's because I did the protocol slightly differently, which... I did do it correctly, but I didn't really psych myself up and prepare myself mentally for it, so I kind of just half acidly kind of did it. But it was still effective and I still got a few out. So, what I'm going to do is just do another one of these and one more flush, so my fifth flush, and just see how much come out. If I get more than this, then that's going to tell me that perhaps I didn't do this fourth one as effectively as I could have. But yeah, the fifth one's going to tell all, and I'll be able to see if it's actually worth doing another one after that. Um, i got a feeling that the fifth one will be even less than this, but I'll have to wait and see on that one. So, but again, not much size disparity in these gallstones that came out on this fourth one here compared to last time. In fact, the third flush that you've just seen, those stones were the biggest that I'd seen come out. So, there we go. Now, in regards to my health in general and how I'm feeling within myself after doing these flushes, my liver never hurts anymore. There's no longer this kind of throbbing kind of pain. My, I presume it may have been my gallbladder, actually, that may have been hurting before so it just doesn't anymore there's no more pain there which is great in general after doing these flushes i feel lighter and that's sustained itself like that's a consistent feeling that i've had i just feel generally good i suppose the effects are actually quite subtle as well if i have more serious health implications before going into these flushes. I probably noticed more of a drastic, drastic difference, but I didn't have any real health problems before, other than, as I said, that kind of aching in my gallbladder. So perhaps in that way, things were more of a subtle effect for me. Although overall, in general, how I feel now is much lighter, more vibrant, more vital. Um, I feel my digestion is infinitely better uh, my it's just it flows much easier uh, really good overall improvement and mental clarity as well I want to say less brain fog in general so yeah positive effects all around so yeah thank you very much for watching this video I hope it's been of value I hope you've enjoyed it despite some pretty grim scenes of all kinds of nasty looking little stones which gotta love them it was a part of me still is from one perspective but let's not go there right now <laughs> yeah best wishes for your own liver flushing experiences i hope you are able to reach new heights when it comes to your own personal levels of health vitality and inner well-being Thank you very much. Lots of love to you all. Zach here, over and out. Bye-bye.